everyone. Sorry for that uh, little brief hiatus. Some slight family emergency stuff going on, but everything's good now. Hey, Sojan. Sounds working good. All right. <laughs> Already knew what I was going to ask before I even asked it. So, okay. We're going to keep working on this urban mech. And uh, my buddy, he wanted it as uh, kind of like the mystery machine. So they have some oranges on there. And I think Explosion Orange might be the best to do, like, some uh, some trim. I'll try and freehand some, like, you know, flowers here and there. Um, in a perfect world, I could maybe write Zoinks on this after I make this look like uh, something else. Hey, Dr. Refutable, how are you? So yeah, what do you say we hop to it and um, yeah, let's let's get a good moik going. All right, sounds good. I have some water right now. Maybe I'll uh, get a uh, different type of beverage. I'm doing good. Uh, things are definitely better at home with my. Uh, with the uh, situation that uh, kept me from streaming last week. So, I don't know how in-depth I should go into all of it, but suffice to say, everyone's good now. just gonna do like some little some little flowery bits yeah I'm glad that they settled down too all right sorry about the light there Hello. guys hey Ty how are you bud Just I hear you, man. I hear you. Let's see. I've got this. Do I have this? Sorry, not trying to bonk the mic much. Try not to bonk the mic or shock the monkey or, you know, anything along those lines. There we go. Well, Ty, sit down, have some plaid. Stay a while and glisten. So, yeah, well, I'm trying to do, like, some little, like, freehand flowers. Yeah. Again, like I said, I am glad too. And, yeah, you know. Alright, yeah, this little hazard stripe here, for some reason, my brain is just telling me. Just because there are some orange lines on the Mystery Mobile. Oh, and by the way, uh, your the uh, one order it says it's shipped, so 
Any day now. Should get your uh, werebear miniature. Yeah, that's not too bad. Man, that is really washed out with the light. Thank you. I mean, it's going to kind of look just like orange blotches, because, man, just the scale on these is just trying to do some good freehand. It's going to be difficult. So, so I might do a lot of, like, orange panel lining just to kind of help get that whole mystery machine vibe. Uh, I know Sojan did. I have not yet. I'd like to see it in the theater. Yeah, just to kind of give it a little bit of that mystery machine feel without me going nuts on uh, freehanding. Hi, fan uh, Phantom No. How are you? Thanks for swinging by. Uh, you know what? All right. Let's do the bottom of this screw as orange as well. Well, you're working now. Well, that's good. I hope. Thanks for swinging by to hang out. Yes, it's very quiet. It's 4.40 a.m. here. I don't know about myself. Feeling burnt out with Marvel and superheroes in general. Uh, maybe just a little bit myself, too. I mean, I still enjoy them, but... Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. see a nice little checkerboard opportunity here so I'm gonna go with every other panel here will be orange
do cool. I'm kind of committed to the MCU at this point. Just have to see if they ever stick the landing. <laughs> well, yeah, that is true. Welcome back. Uh, I saw some, but I didn't see all of them. Whoa, hello, Walter's Workshop, and thank you for the raid. Wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Just starting for tonight. Just uh, working on uh, Urban Mech. My buddy kind of wanted it to be in the pattern of the Mystery Machine. So, tried to freehand some flowers uh, there. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'm just doing some uh, orange, I don't know, panel lining or just uh, some random highlights. Just to kind of give it that Mystery Machine feel. So... All right, yep, yep. This commission's been sitting in my closet for about a year and a half now, maybe a little bit longer. It made a move with me before I uh, touched it, if that tells you anything. So, figured I would start doing it on my streams just to motivate myself to get it all done. Just finish your first one this evening? All right. Hey, Patchwork Goblin, thank you for the follow. And yeah, if you guys are liking what you see, feel free to give me a follow. I always appreciate it. And um, if you're not following Walter's Workshop, uh, go ahead and give him a follow. Thank you for doing the uh, shout-out to my wonderful mods. And yeah, so since this is going to be the Mystery Machine 2, uh, this uh, AC-20 might look like uh, something else. My, you know, something of the Cheech and Chong variety. Just to have some fun. Because, you know, they're urban mechs. So, uh, which one did you finish painting, Walter? Because I've painted uh, two four mech lances already. Oh, yeah. He, he was just like, oh, yeah, and do, like, flowers and stuff like that. And, like, the, <laughs> there's my, I don't know how well you can see it. But, like, there's my attempt at one flower. There's an attempt at another. So I'm just like, I'm just going to do orange paneling. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the first ones I did. There. Like, there's... There's some right there. He wanted them... Uh, with gold bottoms and uh, black tops. And then I kind of gave them uh, urban looking bases where they look like they're fighting on the streets. So yeah, of course, Mad Cat. Love it. Yeah, I'm not too deep into the lore, but it's fun. I mean, I, I played the Battletech games. I played... Uh, uh, like the Mech Warrior, I played Mech Warrior Mercenaries 4 and like the uh, Mech Commander games. Alright, what do you think? Should we do like the rim here as orange or just do like... Hmm. Well, let's look at... <laughs> let's see. Okay, well, I gotta have a flower up front. Because the mystery machine does. So let's. <laughs> go, with, go with Daphne Purple. Uh, for the base. For the base ones, yes. For the orange, no. I am using... 
Where did it go? Um, Explosion Orange from Reaper. I just have it really watered down right now. Or, I should say, there's a lot of moisture on my palate. Moist. There it is. Hate to raid and lurk, but I gotta take my wee pup out. Alright. Hey, no problem. I've done that plenty of times, too, so... No worries. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for bringing so many over, Walter. I appreciate it. And hey, if later if you're done uh, walking your pup and you want to just hang out, come right on back. Yeah, maybe I should do like um, metallic purple for like all the viewports. Or should I just go like a light metallic blue? So, blue like the cartoon, okay. Okay, so, I think I will go with some Lotharn blue mixed with Let's see, do I have the other silver I need to clean my desk I keep saying that but I need to actually clean it alright chainmail is always a good silver to mix so I'll do a little bit of I just do the frost heart over the silver. Yeah, I'll do that. Or I can actually... Hey, thank you for following. Actually, I'm going to go with uh, Grey Knight Steel and then do the frost heart over that. We'll see how that works. for the metallics because why ruin sable right
I don't have any advice for posing Warhammer 40k minis. My ghost kills limbs and torso bits are ready. Okay, so I had some fun painting some uh, when I was painting uh, Sojan's Grey Knights. And he wanted the two thunder hammers. Well, they were both like the same stock pose. But what I did with one was instead of having the hammer here, I just rotated it up so it looked more like he was striking. So maybe just even just positioning them, even just in a little bit of a different pose, or just, you know, elevating arms or something like that, uh, twisting torsos here and there. That could probably really help too. Um, well, how about this? And also, be a little ambitious with some and just go default on others. There's no wrong way to do this. And I will also say, if you don't experiment, you won't find out what you can do. Hope that helps. Yeah, maybe just like repositioning just a little bit makes it a little bit more dynamic or just kind of gives it that little uh, little pop that you were looking for that you didn't realize you needed until you actually did it because you tried. Right, actually, I kind of like how that Grey Knight Steel looks. Cause it's a bluish metallic. <clears throat> All right. And I thought I had a beige or something a little more. Fun. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I am, yeah. Again, preaching to the choir here, I know. Need to clean my desk. Ha, ah, there it is. Mummy robes. It's kind of a rolling paper color. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, like Ty said, you have a bits box with different legs, or um, how comfortable are you with like uh, trimming and using uh, like using clippers and green stuff to reposition some legs? Because if you're comfortable doing that then possibilities are kind of almost endless then at that point. Oh yeah, I'm using uh, yeah the uh, Lab Genius Vortex mixer, or the Moixer as it is as it is called in this because of uh, our buddy Ty having a typo. Instead of saying use the mixer, he said use the Moixer. So it's just stuck. We'll just work on making the base really diverse with stuff so being flat footed isn't what you notice first yes there is a hefty price tag on it but honestly it has been worth it for me
Oh, sorry. Take a few things off my drying rack. And I'm sorry that I keep bumping the mic. <coughs> hey, thank you for following Drips by James. Green Stuff World has one I might get. Put your bottle into a gadget, cap first, and it spins the bottle. All right. You'll have to let me know how that works. Okay, what do you think? Should I do any orange on the top here, too? It's also way cheaper. Well then, uh, all right. So, uh, why don't you put it on? Um, get like some pieces of cork, like cork board, and uh, oh yeah, I did have a knockoff Vortex mixer, which was the first Moixer, which is somewhere. But no, I have uh, here. See, I have the Moixer Mark II. And it's been great. Though, yeah, the knockoff one that I got, um, it didn't do quite as well as the uh, Vortex one. And, uh, yeah, so it took longer to mix up uh, pots of paint. So, yeah, uh, do cool, like, get, like, some pieces of, like, uh, flat cork and kind of layer them a little bit so it looks like he's standing like he just is now standing on top of rocks on top of your base does that make sense at all Yeah, or you could uh, vary it a little bit so that way he's more tilted. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm defaulting to, to he, so my apologies. Uh, yeah, so that way, you know, the the suit in of itself looks like it's it could look tilted or it could be flat. So... There, I'll do that. Should I get the knee pads orange too? I think that would add just enough or would that be a bit too much? See, I added orange there. I sure hope that's showing up good on camera for you guys. And then I'll get some of these other metal bits. Stain this. Might add a little orange to the end. Oh yes, good question, Ty.
And which uh, which model is it exactly too? Do cool because that could help us with any uh, positioning or uh, posing. And know that I am link friendly. The client here on this too he wanted like you know other hippie iconography like a peace symbol and stuff like that but man I I'm glad he has confidence in my skills but just uh all right half listening okay well let's take a look here Okay. Let's just look at images and see what other people have done. I'm just curious here. Yeah, like if you can, uh, let's see, yeah, it looks like you can position the legs a little bit more, oh, here we go, oh, they have it look like it's flying. Yeah, so that means you can definitely, let's see if that shows up. Okay, so here's like a good pose that you could do. Yes, if they're jointed, then um, don't glue them together until you figure out what you want to do with the pose. And then you can go more dynamic there. You could have like... Uh, have it like look like it's stepping up onto a rock or something like that so again I'm hoping this is helping yeah let's take a look here oh yeah there's a dynamic one with that model <laughs> good find Sojan good find So see, you can do it. I'm just going to get a few of these metal bits and bobs. Yeah, again, this is the fun part of chat here, is that I'm, I'm willing to help other people with some of their projects too while I'm working on mine. Who knows? Might give me a little bit of inspiration for mine as well. Yes, yes it is. another all right 
Yeah, or something like that. Like that one. Glued the cockpit shut. That pilot made a pact with <laughs> with God for the greater good. Fair enough. Yeah, that is definitely, that definitely has some good Titanfall vibes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, have fun with it. Might as well, right? Got any lore questions? As far as what? Battletech wise or. Okay. Well, let's see. So I know the game Battletech takes place before the clan invasion. Uh, how soon before the clan invasion is that, and how accurate is the game uh, Battletech lore-wise uh, over the entire overarching uh, story arc? Like, because yeah, I know you're you you play Mercenary Company, and those are just widely kind of almost disregarded unless they play like a major role in history but yeah uh how accurate is that Battletech has its own story that's been canonized in the House of Rano source book. Okay. And so there was no House of Rano before that entire uh, game came out, correct? Okay. Okay. 
Or yeah, chat, if anybody else has any lore questions, Battletech-wise, go ahead and ask, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> we got somebody here that can answer our questions. Know the general stuff? Okay. Still, a little bit more than I do. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can. So, you know, the real original Battletech animated series has been canonized as FedCom propaganda. Oh, all right. The eraser actually did work. So yeah, I was thinking of trying to write like zoinks right there. Cartoon exists in the universe basically. Alright. Yeah, oh God. Yeah, I'd love to do it. But... Well, again, I'll heed my own advice. I don't know until I try, right? Okay, it might just have to be zoink. Here we go. Let's try this. All right. Lurk away at demon speed. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It is pretty close to my microphone, so sorry if it like is completely amplified too. Oh, yeah. 
The old one, like, shook everything, too. Okay, sorry guys, I kind of need the magnifying glass here. Alright, yeah, this does not make for good streaming. Sorry guys. Ah, okay. It's okay, yeah. I definitely needed uh, the magnifying glass, but I got it there. I don't know how good you guys can see it there. <laughs> yeah, I got zoinks on there. And hey, it's a mercenary paint job, so it's not meant to look spectacular, either. <laughs> Plans actually send a scouting party into the Innisfere proper, disguised as a mercenary company. Problem is, no one thought to be suspicious of a merc outfitted that appeared out of nowhere with advanced lost tech that hasn't been seen in centuries, including a pristine annihilator. Yeah, nice. <laughs> hey, they just uh, stumbled on some lost tech and just didn't tell anybody, right? So that's how mercs work. Okay, now I know I used this green, but I might just have to use a little bit of an olive drab to just kind of touch that up. Yeah, details. Yes, behold the Mando shirt. Okay, yeah, sorry for the magnifying glass. I know that did make for a good stream for you guys. But, I got it, so... God, a pristine annihilate. Oh, God. You know, I'll just say, you know, it all makes sense if you don't think about it. Right, Drago?
Yeah, that looks like proper Merc graffiti. All right. What do you think? Should I try to do like the peace symbol right here? Just to make it silly. Or, or, or. Or I paint all of this orange. Yeah, let's do. I'll paint all of this orange, and then I'll do the peace symbol over that. It doesn't, but he wants like some. Uh... <laughs> True. Yeah, it is kind of what he wants. So, how about, yeah, I'll get a little bit more. I have one question for you. Explosions? More explosion orange. Oh, dang. Okay. Time flies when you're having fun and talking lore. Heck, on some of my Warhammer streams, yeah, I've uh, gone on some pretty good tangents talking about lore and whatnot, so... I'll just touch up some of the orange on some of these spots too. basing this. I said we would kind of try to do a little bit of a grassy field. 
but there isn't really good battle tech um, grass or scale grass. It's like all the grass I have is for 32 millimeter, which would those would be some giant bushes around this guy. Oh, wait, how tall? It, how tall is a Hey, Dra Drago, how tall is an urban mech? profile mass 30 tons That was the max. <coughs> so, so you're saying this other 3D printed urban mech could be just as canon as this other mech? figure something out. Gotta see. <coughs> ah, there we go. Ah, sorry about that. Just use two millimeter gamer grass tiny tufts. Maybe I'll have to pick up some of those. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those will work. I'll try and get some of those delivered. So... All right, uh, what do you say, guys? Should we do a raid, or should we just kind of call it quits here for now? And at most, I might do a uh, raid and dash myself. Raid, raid, raid. Okay. Hmm. 
Anybody got any suggestions? Okay. Might as well, right? All right. Hey, thank you for following. Oh yeah, he has some battle tech minis up there. So All right. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for swinging by. Uh, thank you for all the raiders who came to raid. Thank you for all the follows tonight. Thank you, Walter's Workshop, if you're just kind of lurking right now. I appreciate it immensely. And I will see you all on Wednesday when we continue working on Dr. Irrefutable's Stompa. So, until then, have a great night, and just remember to keep on painting.